like Moorish names. They explain how some years ago while fighting in defense of their country, they were and their wives were captured and made prisoners of war by an African king, throw the Africans under the bus. After that, a certain captain clerk had de delivered them, promising that he would be redeemed by the Moroccan ambas ambassador residing in England and returned to their country. Instead, he transported them to South Carolina and sold them for slaves. Uh, whether or not these people and all these people were imposters. It seems by their name they were imposters, but here you get a situation where people see that um, you can get different status by being a Moor. Um, the later articles or pieces that are read came from the Sundry Free Moors Act of 1790. Those were the things that I initially read about how uh, Moors were getting uh, different uh, status or or uh, describing how uh, American and British law basically uh, uh, gave the Turks and the Moors better status. So uh, you can search here for the uh, Sundry Free Moors Act of 2012. Excuse my typo. Um, and then uh, you hear a lot about the treaty uh, piece of friendship. Um, I'm not going to go too much into this, but it's also um, part of their legal strategy to assume certain rights because of a treaty of friendship that only dealt with American uh, uh, um, 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 and ship passage in that area. There were no Moroccan ships that came from Morocco to the Americas. Uh, um, we dealt with uh, this uh, black according to science uh, means death. We dealt with this uh, earlier. Um, this is a slide that I actually showed, but I'm going to, um, this was interesting. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if I want to go into this uh, because of the sound, but I do want to begin a conversation on nationality. Um, so let's see is, okay, so now, the Moors often state that nationality, by memory, it's like they memorize this more than they memorize anything else. The quality or character which arises from the fact of a person's uh, belonging to a nation or state. Nationality determines the political status of the individual, especially with references to allegiances while domicile determines his civil status. Nationality arises either by birth or by naturalization. According to Sagmakti, nationality is also used as opposed to territoriality for the purpose of distinguishing the, the case of nations having no national territory, uh, such as the uh, Jews uh, in Savasky uh, systems at uh, uh, section 346 at uh, Westlaw's private international law. All right, so they use this term, and I think I'm going to write a paper on this. They use this term, the quality of character arises from the fact of a person's belonging to a nation or state. Nationality What's determines up? the political status of the individual, especially with references to allegiance. What's up, man? Now, you have his statement. He has this statement. He has this statement on nationality, but somehow they forget this. This is what they forget. This is what they forget. They forget the register of the slaves of the Sultan Moulay Ishmael of the Morocco in the turn of the 18th century. They forget the quality and character of the people of this nation that enslaved African people. So when you go back 
and you go through all the things that I talked about, Mule Ishmael commanded his officials to enslave all blacks and not only to buy coercively or freely those already in slave conditions, but also to enslave those who were free, including the Harriton. Well, guess what? This is nationality. This is nationality. Complying with the Sultan's order is nationality. Alicia succeeded in collecting all black people in the area of Marrakesh. Nationality, whether free, whether slave free, black or Harriton. Nationality. He gave 3,000 blacks in just one year. They included both the married and the single. Nationality. Elise wrote down their names in the register and sent it to the Sultan. Nationality. All it is is nationality. I'm asking my people. I'm asking my people. Is this the nationality that you want your children to have? That this Sultan could create an order that enslaved all blacks in this particular period, uh, in this particular period, where we will uh, be uh, um, of slavery. So nationality, again, is the quality of character which arises from the fact that a person is belonging to a nation or state, even if you're a slave. Nationality determines your political status. In Morocco, they were slaves of the individual, especially with reference to allegiance with their domicile determines his civil status. Slave. Nationality arises either by birth, slave, or by naturalization, slave in Morocco. According to Savak, the nationality is also used as opposed to territoriality for the purposes of distinguishing the case of nation having no national territory. Uh, I don't see where they go with this nationality. I didn't have enough time to do this. Nationality is a European word that was created in 1690s. Nationality, 1690s, national quality from national plus itty. In some usages, perhaps the French nationalit as a fact belonging to or being a citizens of a particular state from 1828 gradually shading into race and ethnicity meaning separate existence as a nation as recorded from 1832 related nationality but I do love a country that loves itself I love a country that insists on its own nationality which is the same thing as a person insisting on his own personality Robert Frost uh, letter April 21st, 1919, right? So, at the same time of the Prophet Noble Drew Ali, nationality really just means personality of a nation. And the personality of Morocco was, in fact, this. In the late 17th, the personality of Morocco, or the quality of character of Morocco, in this period, right, uh, uh, 16, uh, 70, 16, 1672 to 1727, uh, in late 17th century Morocco, Muli Ishmael commanded his officials to enslave all blacks, that is to buy coercively or freely those already slaves, and to enslave those who were free, including the Haritan, meaning free blacks or freed slaves. This command violated the most salient Islamic legal uh, code regarding institution of slavery. Nationality violated the most salient Islamic legal code according to the institution of slavery, which states that it is illegal to enslave fellow Muslims. There you go. Now, I mean, information continues, the debate, the debate is over. You can decide, you can decide who you want to have won that debate, but the information is what I'm giving. And, and it's not like uh, Sharif or any of the great Moors th that they can't come and sit down inside Nettis' couch and do a presentation um, showing me that the nationality the quality of character which arises from the fact that persons belonging to a nation or state in that period 
of Mule Ishmael is something that we want to be a part of? And I think after this, the answer is absolutely not, right? Nationality is only the personality of a people. That is what we call the national personality. I wrote that. Why? Because personality is, the definition of personality means the totality of qualities and traits as of characters or behaviors that are particular to specific persons. The totality of behavior traits that are particular to a specific non-human animal. A totality of qualities that distinguish a group or organization or place. The personality of the business. The collection of distinctive qualities of a person, especially those distinguishing personal characteristics, make one social, uh, socially appealing. My whole point is that the personality, which is the, uh, the, uh, which is the, the nationality, is the personality of that nation. The or personality of that. This is where that you're trapped. The king of Portugal discovered the land of the Moors of Sofala, Zuma, Zimbizi, and Agocha, and Mozambique were all under obedience to the king of Kilawa, who was a great king among them. Barbosa continued, and there is so much gold in this town because of all the ships which go to Sankofa, touch at these islands, Kilawa, both in going and coming back. These people are Moors of a dusky color, and some of them which are black and some white. They are very well dressed with rich clothes of gold and silk and cotton. They are Moors, right? Though those people of Zanzibar are Moors, according to the Portuguese. Now, you go find me a reference that says they are not Moors. This is further um, talking about a nervous state violence, remedies, and reverie in, in colonial uh, Congo. And this talks about more of the uh, force public course, um, troops that we know now recruited the Zanzibari, who are Moors, Tetla, even Hausa, and also made soldiers of liberated captives. To say that these people were not Moors is an irresponsible, unscholarly statement from someone who was trying to hide those pictures. More resources, military violence against civilians, the case of the Congolese and Zairean military in the um, pedestal, um, and that in which went to enrich Leopold's, uh, it says, which went to enrich Leopold's account to assure that there is no interruption in the flow of these goods and maintain law and order, enforce it, command the Congo Free State, established the force publique in 1885, which performed both military and police functions initially. All the recruits in the force public were foreign Africans from East Africa, Zanzibar, Somalia, and Ethiopia, and West Africa, Nigeria, Gold Coast, Dahomey, and Sierra Leone, who were commonly referred to as Hauser. They were labor migrants, as well as mercenaries, similar to those employed by East African traders who operated in the parts of Congo before the establishment of the state, of the colonial state. So, uh, force public, uh, uh, we could talk about the black mercenaries. And who they were, which was composed of the Hauser, who was, uh, um, and also elite new forces of Zanzibaris, Somalis, Gold Coast, Dahomeans, and a subsequent number of Sierra Leone. My point is, I mean, scholarship is boring and tough, but this is where you find the facts. They were Moors. They were slavers. Zanzibar has a long history of slavery. These are... Zanzibaris inside the force public enslaving Africans. They were termed as Moors. Here they are in all their glory with the European. You're going to tell me that these Zanzibars are not Moors? There's the Zanzibar Moors. Here are the Moroccan Moors. Here's the slave trader. And this is a sub-Saharan African. And you're going to tell me, you're going to sit up here and tell our people that those people were not Moors. So I'm going to close here. Uh, I think there is uh, much more I can uh, talk about. But I, I did want to uh, talk about, um, 
I just I did want to show that the force publique were in fact Moors, and let's see, uh, had lots of other type of uh, material. So then we return back to these uh, photos that show how African people were treated in Islam, being trapped up in Morocco and being sold to the Ottomans uh, from the uh, Moroccan state to show the eunuchs, um, to show how African people are being treated, right? To showing, and this is, um, um, and this is, uh, I guess this is in, uh, in this photo taken and captive by the king himself, a group of wives and eunuchs are shown inside the garden of the royal complexes in northern Tehran. The five African slaves include two adults, probably Ethiopian, and three ados ados uh, adolescents. And so you're going to tell me that this is not a uh, nationality of northern Tehran? What is their status? What is their nationality? Right? They are slaves to the king. They are eunuchs. Look at these beautiful African brothers. And you are saying that these, look at the treatment. When you start talking about nationality, when you start talking about nationality, this is the nationality. What is the nationality of these Africans and their masters? What is their status? What does nationality give you? What is the status of these Africans trapped up by these bastards, right? And you're going to tell, you're going to talk to me about nationality. What is their nationality? What is the nationality of these Africans, right? What is the nationality nationality of these Africans in Iran? What nationality stat? What does nationality give you? Or oh, they don't have no nationality. Look at this. These are Africans with fezzes, but yet they are eunuchs. What is their status? Man, listen. I see why the fuck Sharif changed that shit up, Reggie. Damn, this right here would have been damaging with it? all the more sitting up in there that day. This was your presentation. Did you see, did you see this? Sonetta? Hold up, but Reggie, this was your look at this. real presentation. Yes, this was, this was Dylan. Look at this, Sonetta, real quick. This is the fourth. This is these are the Zanzibar. They're gonna tell me that they're not Moors. They're gonna tell me that they're, they're not Moors and they got pheasants, well, well, right? Him, yeah, no. him, him. These okay. two, they're not Moors. They're gonna tell me that these are not Moors, right? Uh -huh. But these would become. These are the people who you see. You see the the, the hats. This is Tip of Tip. He's a slave trader, uh. right? They're gonna tell me he's not a Moor, right? Now, this is the beautiful Moorish science tip of America. This is modern day, right? right. This is how they look, right? right? Representing the eloquence of, are they representing the eloquence of this? Look at this. Uh -huh. But these are slaves, these are, um, sorry, these are traitors to our people, right? Look at this. But they're representing Noble Draw Ali. They're not representing that other stuff. So either I'm going to separate them from that. But then their mindset, we got to fix this, right? Now look at this. So now look at them over here. They're going to tell me that these are not Moors, right? They're going to, but look at this. Look at their partners, right? Wait, hold up. So these are Moors. These are the Moroccan Moors, right? This is a slave trader Moor. This is possibly um, a sub-Saharan African who is either enslaved, right? I didn't want so they came back and they said these are not Moors, but they are from Zanzibar, right? So, so this is so they're saying to me, but I'm saying what is he's a eunuch of the Ottoman Sultan, so what is his nationality? Hold up, he's a what? He's a eunuch. So what that means? What they did. <coughs> he so got his balls cut off. Right. He, exactly. Right. So so these are. Thank you so much. So these are eunuchs. 
So these are eunuchs. I want I don't care about that. I care about what is their nationality, right? Mm -hmm. Here. Here's a eunuch. What is his nationality? He's a nas his nationality is that he is he's a chief eunuch. That's the status of the Ottoman Sultan of uh, Abdul Hamid, right? In Turk. What's his nationality? What's his nationality? Here, he's with the king himself. They're eunuchs. Got the balls cut off. But he's with the king. What's his nationality? What does nationality get you, Sarnetta? Your balls cut off. Look at this nationality. Nationality gets your balls cut off. That's right. If you're in the wrong nation. Treatment of Moors by Iranians. What's their nationality? Treatment of Moors by Iranians here. Look at that. What is your nationality? Iranian? What does that afford you? Who cares about your quality? Your quality and character is that you're a eunuch. What's your na nationality? You're a eunuch. What's your nationality? Look at the brother. Look at who he's guarding. What's your nationality? Woo! They ain't want that work, Reggie. They had to change that shit. What is your nationality? Huh? You a bodyguard, a eunuch. Right? But I think you should have shown this though, Reggie. What is I your nationality? This presentation, man, when this, the topic was are we more or are we not? I think that would have been real good to show. Information continues. What is our sister, our queen's nationality? What is her nationality? What does nationality get you? This is a Moorish woman and her slave. They're calling her the Moorish woman, and she's the slave. Damn. Right? What is your nationality? This is in French Algeria, 1856. What is, they're all nationals of French Algeria, but what's your status? <coughs> slave. This is in America, right? <coughs> What does nationality give you? She's American. What's her job? To breastfeed white babies. What's your nationality? There you go. So, Sarnetta, I just saw. Uh, so, at the end of the day, this nationality, what does nationality afford you? Does nationality afford you this, Sarnetta, which I was talking about earlier, which has to do with the enslavement of African people? These are all my slides. Uh, uh, I wanted to say what the, uh, the nationality of here. This is where we started this conversation with here. In late 17th century Morocco, Moulay Ishmael commanded his officials to enslave all blacks. That is nationality. So, Sarnetta, um, there's a lot more I could have, of course, slowed down. I always run out of time, yeah. but it's late. Um, I hope that people understand that nationality I hope that people understand that nationality don't give you nothing, right? You got to take the state, then you can determine what the nationality is. You understand? You just can't be. We are. We have a nationality: Black Americans, African Americans, Mauritian um, Americans, Cherokee, Blackfoot. Nationality don't give you nothing. You know who has the status? The people that run the state. We're not. Chinese uh, cop got off, right? That was nationality. You know what the rest of the slaves got to do? Is accept what the D.A. Ken Thompson did, even though he's black. All of that is nationality. So to my opponents, y'all can, well, can get that work. Y'all can get that work, right? Stop, start telling the truth. Oh, lastly, Dr. Jeffries will be either coming here on phone or we'll be doing an interview, right? Because all those little slides that you said about our greats, our greats are still here. And guess what? They were insulted. They didn't disturb the debate, but the information goes. So, uh, so this was a major part of my presentation that I did not get to prevent. These are some of Brother Reggie's lost slides. I had other slides to talk about our walk from Kemet to the Americas, to uh, Kemet, to West Africa, to the Americas, the uh, Diop's continuity of African culture, but uh, another time. So thank you to Sarnetta Studios. Okay. Thank you for everybody who supported me. Uh, and thank you for everybody who came to the event, whether you decided, whether you, uh, wh whoever you came for. Um, 
Thank you for the support of the House of Consciousness, and uh, we're going to continue teaching. Peace.